Hey everyone, uh, today we'll be talking about like how do you handle late arriving data in Spark Structure Streaming with watermarks, right? So uh, before we jump into the code, let's understand that what uh, qualifies a data as like late data, right? So uh, uh, so when whenever we are working with some event time data, right? So it's very common to deal with late arriving data. So in Spark, you can handle late data by using watermarks. We'll see that, right? But what are the causes of late arriving data in Kafka? One, it could be note network and producer delays like high notebook latency, resource contention or rate price in the producer can delay message delivery. Okay. So suppose you are supposed to send this uh, like particular one message like at 10 a.m. But uh, due to some network issue or some production uh, or some issue with the producer code, you are doing a lot of rate tries and like it reach at like to in Kafka at like 11 o'clock, right? So that qualifies as a late data. Then it could be broker overload. Right? So broker can be out of memory. So due to which uh, uh, your data is not getting loaded to Kafka. It could be some upstream delays also. So this, uh, these are some of the causes that can happen and your data comes late in the Kafka broker, correct? So let's understand with one of the timestamp as well as one of the example timestamp of a Kafka message and let's see how this is a late data, okay? So suppose you have created some window okay so you have a window call as uh, start and uh, let's see that it's not 852 it's like uh, suppose it's 952 okay so you have a window of like one hour between 11 852 to 952 okay now what happens is you have a Kafka message that you are creating with Kafka producer, right? So it has a timestamp of 8.50 to 10. Uh, so uh, this belongs to this particular time range, right? This particular window. But due to some issues, some issues in the network or some issues with the producer, you are not able to send those message and it reached Kafka at 10, uh, 10 a.m., right? 10 a.m., 10 seconds, right? So that's outside of this window. So this is like more than eight minutes of the end window, right? Now, as a business user, you have to take a decision that if you are if you're interested in this record anymore, because you might be doing a lot of dashboarding or you have a dashboards where you need this data. So if there are any anomalies or any late data coming, it might affect your dashboard, right? So as a business user, you need to define right how long the rec I should wait for the data to come, right? And what data should I consider as a correct data, not late data. So that's why this watermark come into picture. Okay. So before we talk about watermarks, watermarks, uh, let's understand what is this state store is, right? So what happens is uh, the state store is a key value store used by Spark to persist and manage the state for each micro batch in a streaming query. This state is updated with each batch and save for future use. Okay. So if you are doing any aggregation and if you are having different modes like append, update or complete mode, it needs to store the intermediate result, right? That's why the state store comes into picture. Okay. So uh, example use case, right? If you have a window aggregation, that's why you are going to use this state store. And how it works is, um, uh, first, uh, it has like different steps. Your data is read and processed. Then uh, it will query the existing state. Then it can update the state. Like if, you are the, if there are any um, change in the state and then it output the results and then it persists the state also. So we have checked uh, check this in our checkpoint uh, tutorial that how it stored the state in the checkpoint location. So that's how it works, right? What happens is uh, this state uh, file or state uh, can grow infinitely, right? So if you're doing a lot of complete mode or output operation, so it can grow 
very huge right so you want to clean up this memory because or else your spark executors will run out of memory you won't be able to process anything right so spark automatically removes old state based on watermark right which defines when data is considered late and no longer affects the state okay so i hope that you are able to understand what is the state store means and what is this late data and now let's see like how do we define this watermark okay so there are few configuration that you can use to see, see what's the current state store that it is using so currently it is like a sdfs backend state store okay but there is one more state store is or that is a rocks db in spark structure swimming so um, you can also choose this particular this is faster than sdfs back state store to set it you can just do like state provide class you can just provide that particular state store provider class um, here right so uh, to define the watermarks this is very simple you have a like aggregate query so this is the usual stuff like how you have been doing the aggregation but you add a watermark it means that okay i have a window of 20 seconds okay but i can wait for any data that is coming like uh, 30 seconds late to that particular window right so this is what you define and this this 30 second is uh, purely on your business needs right like this is something that a business will take decision like what is the late data what is not a late data okay so that's all it needs and you can just write this uh, write stream and you can write it to some any other location right but uh, yeah so uh, knowing like what is late data how to handle it it's very crucial this is something that you have to use it for maybe if we have any aggregation and if we have any append queries you have to use watermarks and to clean up the state store this is very crucial and if you are using some complete mode you have to use this watermark right so i hope that this is clear to you and i would say that don't just listen to all the videos here what you do is you import this notebook and you do practice on top of it you define different parameters you can write a lot of transformation or else you have the producer code also but what you can do is you can create different producer code like suppose you want you create a iot specific producer code right and where you are having like different IoT devices, you have like different IoT devices sending the data, then you process it, you find out different late data, and maybe you can create a producer which injects uh, some late data, and you see that, okay, if this is, that records is getting considered in my uh, window or not. So I think that will be some kind of homework for you and i hope that you are enjoying this particular playlist and this video as well and if you like this video please give it a like and share this video with your network if you feel like you're liking this particular playlist and yes i'll i'll see you in the next one bye bye